we poured through the financial records of some of those organizations. Here's some of the paperwork we went through today. Those organizations and their focus runs the gamut from helping to rebuild homes devastated by Harvey to providing food to families in need, also money to go toward programs that help children, after school programs, for instance. As you mentioned, today's announcement comes two months after Harvey, with many people asking, where is the money? It's like memories for all my children. 22 years of memories washed away, not once, but twice for Sarah Varone. Two and a half, three. Harvey sent two to three feet of water into Varone's home in Meyerland. For the most part, she says she and her family will be fine. They have flood insurance. Varone's worries? Other people need them more than me. Have more to do with those who don't. I want to give you guys an update on the Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund. Texans defensive end J.J. Watt announced Thursday his plan for money raised to help others. Watt's foundation raised over $37 million to go toward Harvey Relief. $30 million of that money will go to four organizations, Feeding America, Save the Children, AmeriCares, and SBP, or the St. Bernard Project. Channel 2 looked into the finances of these organizations with help from watchdog CharityNavigator.org. The site grades each organization, including a score on how well each charity uses money it raises to benefit programs they offer. Overall, the organizations chosen by Watts Foundation scored well. Some of that money will make its way to the Houston Food Bank. Uh, most of what we get is surplus. President and CEO Brian Green says 26 million pounds of food have been distributed since Harvey. Money from the Watt Foundation will keep those efforts going. JJ Watt has been a big friend of ours before. He's volunteered here, and it certainly is nice that he's helping us in the coming months. Yeah, and so we did ask the food bank exactly how much money it will receive from the Watt Foundation. They told us that they can't disclose that money just yet, but they do tell us that that money will go toward, for instance, getting more trucks for the organization. Also, they say that the money will put them in place to continue to help Harvey relief efforts, as they put it, long term. We've got more information on each of those charities, including detailed financial documents on our website tonight. Click to Houston.com. For now, we're live in Meyerland. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.